It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. I do know how to read. I just get really tired. Is it the, I, is it the... Um, Are you living the adult life now where you're the, the typical individual that it's like 8 or 9 p.m. You're laying in bed. I'm you still your, working at 8 o'clock at night. Oh, you do? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, like normal people. What time do you get home? No, sometimes people get out. It's a, They work 9 to 5s. Normal jobs are 9 to 5s. Yeah. I don't work a normal job. Nine she doesn't have a normal job. Huh? I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. I get home at like 8.45, 8.50. 8.45. And what time do you usually knock out? Uh, like 11 or 12 or 1. And what time what do you do for up? all of those hours? Eating dinner, watching TV. Mm, makes sense. Normal things. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like watching on television? Uh, Disney Plus. Wow. Netflix. wow. Okay. So so for the last week, you've just been living. And the weeks before that, you've just been just Netflix. staring at a it blank was wall. <laughs> Movies. Why are you so upset? I was just breathing on. What did she say? I'm interested about this Disney Plus. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How much ESPN are you watching? Zero. We didn't get that subscription. That seems like a waste of money to me. Not really. Not if you don't fucking watch sports like that. Yes. You're not going to watch any of the UFC fights? No, I don't give a fuck. He probably does. I don't care. What if you're watching Disney movies and Disney shows on this thing that is named after Disney? What? That's but, not wasting money. This is true. You can. It's six ninety nine, and I didn't pay for it. I'm trying to get. The, I'm trying to get 6.99 the ESPN or package. It's Twelve ninety nine, I think, for that with Hulu and ESPN. And yeah, Disney. I don't give a dick about Hulu though. That's the problem. But you, yeah, I don't know. You get it. You get it. I do. Yeah. Do you give a dick about Disney? I give t- two dicks about Disney. That's yeah. a lot. I'll give someone else's dick. It's more to than Disney. most people have on their body. I would body. give two different people's dicks to Disney so I could keep my own dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah you have a weird and still get disney plus yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah. you have a weird sense of currency and i've i've heard you say this multiple times alejandro will say when he's intrigued by something i will pay one dick for that <laughs> no i'd say i'll pay out the dick for that out the that's even weirder <laughs> what do you mean dick. what do you huh. pay what would be coming out of the dick oh so man. ladies and gentlemen <laughs> we have a guest here today uh her name is juliet Perez. And as you can tell, she is very classy. Very. And she knows exactly Wait, how to zing me under my I would like to take this moment to um, apologize for any profanities that come out to my, of my mouth, especially to your two moms. Sorry, moms. Oh, Don't my... worry, my mom doesn't really know too much English. Yeah, my so. mother is super calloused <laughs> over by the fuck's words. Sorry, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> but That's my, the first time her name's been said on the podcast. We did recently put uh, out this promo video of us chanting, <laughs> Christian, <laughs> balls are large. Hey, hey, hey. Christian, balls are And Here my mom... After the day after we put that out, did she out, say it's true, son? She, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh man, I have. She what? would know. I, I, I have As heard. As a baby, I, I have heard from your mother that your balls are grossly large. <laughs> what? She, I was. She a, just told me when she answered the door. She's like, "Hey, Juliet, a... welcome in. Christian's balls grossly large, but not anymore. I haven't seen him in a while. What the fuck did I do to deserve this treatment? <laughs> oh, First you of think all, that this guest was going to be on your side. This today? is my <laughs> mother. I thought she was going to be on my side. Have you heard yourself speak? Yeah, this is exactly why people listen to the show. Because oh, mm. because you're you you my bring the words wow and your factor. singing. That's it. I've sang twice on this. You're we, saying we sing actually. Hang on, side we sing bar. a lot. We sing in almost every episode. Yes, this is true. So Anyways, singing comes up, Jules. Mm-hmm. Will you sing with us? Uh, yeah. Um, let's start it now. Okay. I can show you a world. <laughs> That's a world the wrong fucking lyric. Shimmery. You fucked up the lyrics already. Cities. You said I can show <laughs> I you a can world. Take you on rugs and mats and take you through <laughs> the desert. Mm. I can show you. Anyways, the world. Christian. <laughs> yes, let's get back to this fucking podcast, dude. Um, we watched a couple of movies, uh, but one in particular for this episode. Yeah, um, Juliet, would you like yes. to tell you... our listeners what movie you brought to us today? I brought to you, listeners, Little Nicky. Oh, Little Nicky. Little, little, little Nicky. Little Nicky. And if that rings a bell, that is the classic Adam Sandler film where he looks like an emo kid. Yes. Uh, yeah. But don't uh, malign him for it. It's because he was hit in the face with a shovel. Yes. That's so don't true. be a dick. I'm not being a dick. Oh. Yeah? I was watching an interview about it last night, and he said he based the character off a kid he went to high school with, but not, not the face 
or the walk, but just like the, the way he talked. Well, the way he talked sideways out of his mouth and yeah, the voice. So yeah, that was an interesting character choice. Was like talking out the side of the mouth. That reminds me. But that's because he got hit in the face with a shovel. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's hit the nitty gritty and then we'll go into this. <clears throat> okay, we'll go into it. We'll we have it. a skeleton. <laughs> Yes, well, we have a skeleton of a structure now because we're trying to be organized. Guys, we're trying to make this a thing. Um, <laughs> four months in. Because <laughs> it's not been a thing for a while. This has all been a joke. Um, so Little Nicky was released in 2000. It's rated PG-13. It has a runtime of one hour and 30 minutes. And since Melissa's in the room, that's 90 minutes, Melissa. Um, Damn, dude. She knows what it means, you dick. <laughs> You've been a dick all of today, dude. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Uh, Otis, stop kissing me. Um, in, <laughs> <laughs> this episode is rated 5.3 out of 10 on IMDb. It's got a 22% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, and then, again, Common Sense Media has come up. This is the second time it's came up. It's got a 3 point... Or, I'm sorry, it's got 3 out of 5. No points. It's just 3 out of 5. <laughs> Miss uh, Perry, would you like to guess what percentage of Google users approve? Mrs. Perry. Okay, but here's where I have this issue with this, and I've been thinking about it when I listen to every podcast. Is it because podcast. you've already looked it up? Because the second you fucking put in the movie in the Google search, stop telling them our secret. <laughs> stop it. Stop telling us. Stop no, telling that's them our my secret. Question. Do you not look it up? Like, I try not to at this okay, point because I, I I see I could have lied and I could have been like yeah let me guess so then I could have beat you. The part. Yeah. So oh. wow, it's really a competition okay, okay, okay. to so, you okay. now. So then since damn, let's, let's take the competition out, Christian. Take the belt off since it's not for the belt. Then. Do you want to guess? Do you remember? I, I, I looked at it last night. Mm, but you remember? Because I wouldn't remember. Yeah. It. Okay, then Christian. Okay, let me guess. <laughs> because I play this ge- game fairly. Correctly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with 92%. Wow, Christian. That's I'm a, a guess great too. guess. Are you ready? Yeah. 87. And oh, Julia wins. A- it's not a guess. Don't call it a guess <laughs> if you know exactly what it is. You preface to the <laughs> listeners that you already <laughs> looked it up on Google. Don't go. I didn't look it up. When you type the movie in, that's one of the first things. Yeah, guys. Hey, we're going to level with you. We do about as minimal research as possible. And <laughs> I was really impressed when my mother first heard our episode and she was like, wow, you guys do a lot of research. And I was like, huh, people might think we actually research this thing. But no. the truth is, guys. Alex just looks at Wikipedia. Literally just Google the title. Yep. And you'll get up. everything you need. Mm-hmm. That's it. So Sorry. we'll just go ahead and turn this whole thing off then. <laughs> Let's get back to this podcast. Excellent. Uh, so the synapses coming at you here. Right at you. <clears throat> In a perfect world, he'd be a happy... Uh, Beauty and the Beast? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. In a perfect world, she'd be happy to headbang in his room all day to heavy metal music. But no... His mom is an angel, his old man is the devil, and like all good fathers, he insists that Nikki get involved in the family business. Nikki could think of 666 things, nice, 666, 666 things he'd rather be doing than corrupting souls or spewing evil, but when his father's command over Hades is threatened by his bullying older brothers, it's up to him to un- uh, what? It's up to the unbalanced Nikki to restore the balance between good and evil on earth uh, real quick i do want to say today it was raining with the sun out and you guys know what that means rainbows no it means the devil's beating his wife i don't um, like where you took this well and not necessarily <laughs> i don't the devil, like where you it means this. hades is beating Persephone. and i don't know if you guys are familiar with greek mythology yeah. uh-huh. but uh, Persephone is the one who has the worst break i don't think there's an s in there it's Perse- persephone dude Persephone's. Persephone. Persephone. Yeah. Persephone. Persephone. yeah dude. all of their names end in s all, all, no all it doesn't greek, it's not per- all greek heroes end in s that's Can we get thing. a fact check on that? Yeah, Someone? go ahead. Oh, whoa, you... Okay. Yeah, all Greek heroes' names end in S. Hercules. Uh, Achilles. Odysseus. Oh, Persephone. shit. Uh-huh. All right, guys. Oh, I so might be wrong. You guys can go ahead and... Wait, uh, but... I don't. Per, I feel like it's. Per, oh yeah. I don't well, know. Uh, we can wait for the fact checker to We're come. We're gonna back. find out in a second. Uh, this movie is directed by Stephen Brill uh, and had a budget of eighty-five million dollars. Since Juliet's a dirty, rotten cheater. Wait, I, Christian, I, okay. do you want to guess how much this movie made? <laughs> Did you look up what the budget was, I, Jules? I didn't. Oh, okay, cool. so, so we can both guess. play. Oh, I take it back. You're only a cheater in relation to... Oh, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. It's not true. It's not true. I'm not on that show, Cheaters. <clears throat> um, do you want to guess, Juliet, how much this movie made? I'm so stressed out. <laughs> what was the budget? Uh, 85 million American doll hairs. Oh, and what did it make? That's the question. Uh, 150. 
Christian? That's I'm going to go with 120. Wow, well, okay. Um, um, so we do critically <laughs> condemned films on this podcast. So this movie made $58 million. Damn, it did not hit. Okay. No, it is oh. starring Adam Sandler, Patricia Arquette, uh, Quentin Tarantino, Harvey Keitel, Rodney Dangerfield, John Lovitz, and <laughs> a bunch of your other favorites. <laughs> that was so <laughs> hack, dude. <laughs> I think people are legitimately laughing at it, actually. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Let's just jump into it, guys. Uh, you know, this movie is about the devil's son, uh, most specifically Satan, because apparently Satan is Lucifer's son, which... Mm. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa's Lucifer. Yeah, Grandpa's Lucifer. Played by Rodney Dangerfield, who is, oh my God, one of my favorite comedians of all time. A classic. Are, are you a fan of the Rodney Danes? Uh uh, uh, I like how honest uh, you are. It's not that I'm not a fan. I you just, just don't know. Yeah. Oh man, did you ever see Caddyshack? I did. And you still don't like Rodney Dangerfield? Oh, I don't want to jump ahead. I mean, no, go ahead, jump ahead. Um, Caddyshack. Yeah. Let's go into when Nikki goes up. You know, <laughs> up top is what's his face from Caddyshack? The it's all in the hips guy. No, oh, that no? guy's from Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. That's yeah, what he's I was thinking. he's uh, he's Chubbs. He's literally Chubbs. playing the same character. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's what this movie does a lot. They bring back a lot of characters. Whoa, is the uh, Happy Madison uh, universe a connected, connected universe? It is it a shared seems universe? Like it. I think it is. Wow. Bigger, bigger than Marvel. <laughs> bigger than Marvel. That's I would quite love a statement. to see all of Adam Sandler's characters like do an Avengers style meetup where it's just like Happy Gilmore meets Billy Madison meets Waterboy meets Big Daddy meets. Uh, the guy from the Do Over meets the Devil's Son. Uh, me- meets uh, Adam Sandler from uh, Grown Ups, and then also meets like teenage Adam Sandler from Saturday Night Live. Yes. I would love to see all of them get together and have to beat like um, Mecca Chris Farley, who's like a robot version that Lauren Michaels made to like take over comedy. <laughs> you lost me there, <laughs> yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> what I do appreciate about like all these Adam Sandler films is that he recycles a bunch of his actor Actors. friends. Yeah, you're always gonna see Rob Schneider. In uh, mm-hmm. most of his films, I didn't know that Quentin Tarantino was the oh the deacon. The I l- deacon legit watched this for like four or five minutes and was like, "Who is the fuck is that? <laughs> Who is that? Who <laughs> is that? Yep. Who the blind Quentin deacon? Tarantino. Who is that? Quentin Tarantino doing the Who most, man. Is that? <laughs> And Those are the questions I asked When did you realize it was finally Quentin? When I came over to watch the end of it with you, and you're like, man, Quentin Carantino's doing a great <laughs> job. And I was like, ball That's sack. who that is. <laughs> you don't look at the cast list at all? I get so curious no, about I who the actors are. I saw his name on the list, but I didn't see like what his character's name was. So I didn't know who he was. I was expecting him to have like like a, a Henry, Winkler, Hen- Henry, Henry Winkler. Winkler cameo, where he's like playing Never himself. Henry Winkler and bees. So we Dude, are literally jumping to the out. end of the movie. But it's okay, because it's our show. Um... <laughs> This movie opens with the devil. <gasps> no, it opens with the guy in the tree. Yes, it John opens with John Lovitz. Lovitz. This is why we Tom. have you here. <laughs> oh God! Peeping Tom, peeping Tom, and that's you know creepy. what song he's singing to himself? This is Ladies', Ladies Night, Night. Mm-hmm. and that's a callback mm-hmm. to the wedding singer because when he, John Lovitz was in a band auditioning for Drew Barrymore's mm-hmm. wedding, I think the wedding, he was singing that. I think the wedding singer is a callback to this movie. No, this came out. Wedding singer came. Just came out in 2000. Came out before, dude. No, see, time goes backwards. I. Uh, anyways. Uh, so John Lovitz is watching this lady take her clothes off, and he's being a gross peeping Tom. And then the son walks in, and like she like puts on a robe or whatever. And so he calls the house, <laughs> and the son picks up, and he's telling the son like, "Hey, you little fuck, get out of the room so I can see your mom getting naked." And he's like, "Who is this?" And he's like, "It's a big, big bird." bird. <laughs> and he starts flapping his wings. <laughs> And then, uh, and then the son shoots his slingshot, slingshot like a rock and he falls him. off the tree and, and then goes he to hell. He goes to hell. hell. And his punishment is? A big, horny bird. bird. Yep. Fucks him for the rest of eternity. <laughs> just really comes up behind him and starts humping him. I like this version of hell. I think it's a just version of hell. I think mm-hmm. it makes sense that people get uh, the worst thing that they've done to people is the worst thing that happens to them. But So that brings up Hitler. Yeah, totally. Hitler's punishment is bad. Pretty gnarly. First of all, he has to dress like a French maid for eternity. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he gets pineapples shoved up his ass every day. Uh, but noon, not right? Is it at noon or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Do they say what time it's at? I think so. At wow, noon. that's highly specific. Um, I could somebody be wrong. took notes. Um, okay. <laughs> no, I think it's great. I think somebody as disgusting and as gross as Adolf Hitler deserves to have uh, giant pineapples. And not only are the pineapples stuffed into his butt like a way a pineapple would be, would be but no. Uh, Satan flips it over uh-huh. so that the le- the sharp leaves first Go would first. enter. 
Mm -hmm. That's terrible. That brings tears to my eyes. But it's, I mean, he deserves it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Of all people. The other thing that I think is funny is Hitler has three sons. Uh, and one of them is Adam Sandler. Hitler. Who, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hitler had. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Sorry, Satan. Um, Satan. Satan is not Hitler, guys. Let's get that straight right now. Satan <laughs> is not. He punishes Hitler. Hitler. That's right. Um, Satan has three sons. Uh, Adam Sandler, um, a giant gentleman, and a smaller gentleman. Cassius uh, and Lucius. That's correct. Lucius? Cassius? Lucius. Cassius? Lucius. Lucius. Is it Lucius? I think it's Luscious. I think it's Adrian. <laughs> it's Adrian. Adrian? It's, you're way off. Were yeah, you Lucius, getting Lucius? You're of Lucifer. Isn't that, isn't that a, no, I swear to God, that's a character. I From could be something. wrong. Lucius might be the, 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 the horns friend. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> Adrian is in fact Adrian. Okay, no, it's Adrian. And Cash Cassius? Cassius. Cassius. Like Cassius Clay. Which Cassius? I thought was an interesting name. I thought it's Cassius. No, it's I Cassius, Cassius. Like Cassius Clay. I think. Mm hmm. What? What? <laughs> what? You guys don't like Cassius Clay? No, what? I mean, I'm just we just think you're saying it wrong, dude. That's it. it. Cassius Clay, aka Muhammad Ali. Cassius and Adrian are the two it's brothers. It's not the same as Cassius Clay, guys. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. All right, let's <laughs> move on from this, dude. No, I will die on this hill. If there's anything I want to talk about, it's not Cassius's name and how it's pronounced. Let's, let's... So, so the two brothers they decide to like destroy hell or take well, over that's hell because the devil, the devil, he yeah. is Satan. saying they think he's going to say who's going to take over hell for the next ten thousand years, and then he's like, "Haha, fuck you guys, it's me." Which was the right decision. Because those guys were not ready to take over. Hell. No, not right. at all. They're highly immature. I wouldn't. Yeah, because they would do like <laughs> they wouldn't do mean stuff to Hitler. They would be doing weird stuff to Hitler, and that's <laughs> not what I want. I want mean stuff done to mean people. So um, if I, like Lucius or Cassius took over, I wouldn't want them to take over. I would like Satan to rule over eternity yes. and rule over hell until the end of time. Hail Satan, six six. So they're mad. So they decide to leave hell. And they go out, which you can only come in, and then they freeze the gates of hell. Which was a weird, like, um, reaction to somebody leaving hell. I, I, I've heard a number of stories of people leaving the underworld in mm -hmm. both Greek mythology and... and usually, and what happens? Uh, it doesn't freeze hell. Uh-huh. So... Usually, they're, they're not allowed to turn around, because if they turn around, uh, they turn into a pillar of salt, or they die, or something like but that. But they're the sons of... Satan. Yeah, so yeah, maybe that's I guess different. So he has so they're the power, they're the they're I guess the I burning. will applaud this movie at their attempt of trying to build this new reality for hell. I mean, there were there was like it was like a You think they reimagined hell? Yeah, and obviously for in a happy Madison way where it would be extremely silly. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> um for you listeners out there, Alejandro is opening up his Ooh. third Bud Light. Poor Wait, choice are you, are you beer. fucking counting my beers, bro? Yeah, dude. Are you counting my beers, bro? I am counting my beers. That's not a fucking good thing And to I do. count them when they're oh in my, my trash. Gosh. You're counting my beers? Yes, dude. I have a quick um, statement. I feel like you guys should make a video with Bang Energy because I see so many like quote unquote influencers or dancers being like, I'm drinking a Bang Energy. Check out this. And they tag them. Uh-huh. And do they actually get I don't know. some attention from it? It seems like but there's two Bang Energies. And when I was here last time, there was quite a few other Bang Energies. It's kind of so, been our thing. We usually get a protein cookie so each. So I feel like you could get sponsored by Bang sooner than you get sponsored by Farm and Flower. Aww, but yeah, we Bang definitely has the money. Yeah, they do have the money. I just don't think you don't this think it's is possible family with farm and appropriate for Farm and Flower. Yeah, fuck Farm and no, Flower. No, don't say that. Let's go bang. No. You've Let's ruined bang all of our choices. No. You've ruined We love Farm and Flower. Oh, yeah, I do. Farm we do. Flower. We do. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> let's get back okay, to this Okay, so movie. when they leave uh, hell, Satan punishes the, the guy who's supposed to be taking all the names who enters hell, and he gives him... Oh, the gatekeeper. Uh, Kevin Nealon. If there is one thing that I remember from this movie, I was just texting you, Jules, uh -huh. saying the last time I watched this movie was when I was 10 years old. Yes. And I'm sure you can imagine that... <laughs> See you later. Pee. Where are you going? This has never <laughs> happened. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? I've never, I've never recorded this podcast without guy, that guy there. 
This is Christian. It's your show now. It is. It's your it is ship. our this show is right ship. now. I, I will, I will venture to say that you're the captain now. Oh, all right. Wow. So now, without that chaotic man in the room, he got too excited when we were he, talking about the titty head. Yeah, he got way too excited. He had to excuse himself. What's he doing in the bathroom? Mm-hmm. Would not be surprised. Yeah, no. But if yes. there was one thing that I do recall Remember. from watching. And I'm not proud to say that this was one of the only things that I remember from the movie, seeing when I was 10, were the the the, the Gr- boobs on the head. Well, and I, like, the when Nikki comes back to hell, and we're jumping ahead again, but when he comes back and the gorilla is fondling... <laughs> it's so <laughs> the weird. The tits on his head. I will say... <laughs> <laughs> that there well, were numerous back, times. Sir. Welcome back. Welcome back. How was the bathroom? <laughs> Alejandro is back. <laughs> we did. Whatever. <clears throat> no, you talked about me for half the time. I couldn't start peeing because you were talking about me. <laughs> were you laughing? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm uh, gun shy. <clears throat> oh, okay. So it just never happened. But as we were saying, uh, as you were saying, what, what were the tits and yeah. the gorilla? That there is that a gorilla or a yeti? Oh, uh, I don't know. Because I've heard that Bigfoot is a um, agent of Satan. I guess it's yeah okay. It's not a gorilla then. It's something. It's Bigfoot? weird. It could be a Krampus. He had horns mm-hmm. and he. Oh, he, yeah. that makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, I do like how much CGI was put into this film for a movie that came out in two thousand. Yeah. It's done really well. Well, yeah. yeah. They didn't overdo it to the point where it's like clearly hack. Uh, they they definitely made a good point. We um oh, I just <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever <laughs> thought about this movie like this. <laughs> no, well, I mean, like, let's look at its budget. It was like about eighty-six million dollars that was spent on it, yeah. which was an incredible amount, especially for the time, especially for a yeah. Happy Madison in, in, film in two thousand. I wonder if this is one of the first Happy Madison slated films because, uh, I mean, I can't imagine Adam Sandler was using that production company when he made Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. I'm not quite sure. We'd have to look back into that. But there was a lot of CGI in here. There was a lot of mm-hmm. uh, good. Uh, um, makeup on here and like oh, the costumes. The costume and the makeup were fantastic. But when you look at Harry Gary or whatever that yet he was, oh. he had the cheapest costume. <laughs> it was literally just a gorilla outfit. Yeah. Um, but he moved well in it. He did. He he Whoever moved. Was in it. Did he say anything? No. No. He just made noises. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. 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 I wouldn't want to hear voice. a voice of something like that. No. Yeah. You brought this movie to us. Yeah. And why did would you? Why did you pick this movie, Julia? Okay. Well. Okay. I was having a conversation with my dad, Andy Henry. Shout, Shout out, out to Andy. Shout out. Andy. 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 Do you know how to, does Andy know how to use a podcast? He, yeah. I think he's <laughs> listened to a few of your guys. Fantastic. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I think what? he might have only listened to Chris Perry's episode. That's all that matters. I'm fine, fine with that. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I was, I think I was at Farm and Flower, actually, talking sure. about what movies I should do. And he was like, okay, well, let's think about the movies you always used to watch when you were younger. It started out with like a... The Hocus, like and, Hocus Pocus, oh. like Dis- Disney, mm-hmm. Lizzie McGuire, mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. And they had really bad ratings. And then I was like, ooh, Little Nicky. And then that got a really bad rating. And I was like, that seems more appropriate for this podcast yeah. than Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. It's for sure a good movie. It's for sure a funny Adam Sandler movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but I for sure watched it, like you were saying, you watched it when you were 10. I watched it way Just too young. That age. Yeah. yeah. I, my mind could not process what was going on because yeah. first of all adam sandler uh, a comedic legend at the time and even up until now was the son of satan son of satan who got hit in the face with a shovel who got hit in the face with a shovel who wasn't really evil speaking who was his mother was nice an angel because yes. his oh mother was not that? only an angel Wait, did you hear about that actress who got stabbed what yeah uh, that blonde actress um uh reese something reese, reese witherspoon no with a knife Oh my gosh. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Do you think this is a stand up set? Thank you. Dude. Thank you. <laughs> you think this is a stand up set? Um, but Reese yeah. Spoon does actually play Adam Sandler's mother in this movie. Yes. <laughs> so uh, that's how that fits. <laughs> but this movie was in, I just was intrigued by like his character choices. He was talking out of his, the side of his mouth. He, the he, entire movie. Yes. He looked like this. <laughs> That reminds me, <laughs> when I was in the seventh grade, um, we had the same PE class, actually. Alejandro, yeah, Miss Moody. And Miss Moody made us learn a bunch of different ballroom dances. Oh, yeah. One of them being tango. Mm-hmm. Tango, where I 
took pride in how well I tangled oh. because I thought I did it so well. But no, I didn't win because they she made it a competition. This which is in seventh grade. This is in seventh grade. Benicia Middle School. Benicia Middle School. We learned how to do the tango. We were partnered up. These hormonal children that mm-hmm. are scared to talk to the opposite uh, sex, gender, gender, and uh, it terrified me that to be paired up. And so I forget what the girl's name was, but our faces had to be oh, pretty close. Shout out, girl. Shout out, girl. Shout out, girl. I, I don't forget. even remember who I was dancing. I'm sorry for my I don't my remember doing hands. this in middle school. Did you have big booty booty, Judy? I did not. Yeah, she was. She gave me an F in PE. Well, you probably deserved you it. Probably I didn't deserved do the homework. It, dude. Why the fuck are you giving me homework in PE? This isn't... Huh, sidebar. Why are you giving me homework in PE? How was your physical health? Great. I could climb that rock. I could... Finish the story and that'll prove my point. Well, okay. To continue with my story, Alejandro beat me in this tango competition. That's I was second right. place, and this guy that said I was from the Philippines beat me. Because I'm an incredible ballroom dancer. Here's a little fun fact about me, guys. Oh. I am actually a trained tango, uh, swing, bachata, merengue. Uh, I can do the waltz. I've done multiple dances. I've also done jazz dance and tap dance. And so if you think You've that You've also I'm, been a Russian... Salt or pepper? Look, that's not something I bring up. Um, yeah, he could do a Russian dance. So if you guys see mm-hmm. him on the street. I actually don't think I could anymore. My knees <laughs> popped quite a bit during that You dance. carried me over your shoulder. You remember that shit? Is that Russian? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you could also... And I can lift shit, boys. <laughs> you've, carried, <laughs> you've carried me over <laughs> your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying the weirdest shit, dude. <laughs> um, I'm having fun. No, sure. have a good time, dude. Have a good time. <laughs> I hate when you say a joke. And it's like direct, it's attacking me. And after you say it, you're like, come on, guys. <laughs> guys, guys, what funny, do you mean? right? People laugh when I give them the prompt. Sometimes like, I'll say something that's really mean. And I'll like look at people around and be like, ha, 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 ha. And people start laughing, too, because they know. Because there's so do. much pressure, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, they don't know what else to do. Yeah. That's right. They don't want to break your heart by being like, you're a fucking asshole. Mm-hmm. But they're thinking it. See, but little do you, you know, are I'm being symbiosing the shit out of them. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what did you what? say? Huh? Anyway, <laughs> I brought up this story because little Nikki talks through the side of his mouth like this, right? Uh-huh. And when I would dance so close to this girl, I was so <laughs> self-conscious about my breath. <laughs> and I couldn't breathe through my nose because I was fat <laughs> and I was a mouth breather. So instead of breathing in her face, you breathe to the side. I breathe through the side of my mouth. So as I was doing this like very One, intimate two, ballroom three, dance, I two, was also a, doing a, this. A, I was looking like fat Popeye, dude. I was like, and I would hum it too because I remember she taught us like how to do it. T A N G O. I wouldn't spell it, dude. That's how you. That's how you tango. I thought it was more like, pop. I don't dance. I don't dance. That's like, that's not ballroom dancing. I fucking hate myself. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Let me tell you guys about ballroom dancing. Oh. Number one thing you need to think about ballroom dancing is that the man is the lead. And that's the thing that I think people should realize in general. Men will lead the future. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Uh, women are the future. I'm a feminist. <laughs> Can you say that with a straight face? I didn't laugh. You're, you're smiling. You're smiling right now. Your face is red. You look, you're looking more Asian today than I've <laughs> ever seen you do. You're right. I couldn't say it. You're right. Okay. Um, None of that's staying in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it all in, boy. Can't wait to run for public office in 20 years. <laughs> um, Jules. Yes. Um, um, so were we track. talking about a movie or did Little I just Nikki. have a conniption? Little yes. Nikki. Little Nikki. Little Nikki. Um, I don't the know dog, where we left did off. Did you like the dog? Okay, well, no, so we totally have not talked about what's happening. Mr. Beefy. What do you mean? Before Mr. Beefy, Little Nikki has to, the two brothers go to Earth because they want to create their own track. hell on, ner- on Earth. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But because they left hell, Satan is now literally falling apart. Yeah, Harvey so, Cartel is just disintegrating. Yeah, so Nikki has to bring them back to hell together. Yes, which is a very odd Because they rule. left together. Because yeah, they, they left, left together, together, so they have to come back together. And the way he has to retrieve them... So weird. ...is <laughs> through this demonic flask. flask. Yeah. And yeah. there's this funny montage of scenes where he's walking around New York City... <laughs> get, in get in the flask! flask. Just, hey, get, get in the flask! flask. Hey, get in the flask! Get in the flask! <laughs> These people are freaking the fuck out. Yeah. Christian, but, you recently went to New York, and Juliet, you've been to the big, uh, big uh, peach? Yes. 
Uh, I've also been to the um, um, uh, New Amsterdam. And one thing that I realized was that <laughs> people won't stand up for that shit. Little Nicky would have gotten his shit kicked in fast. Mm-hmm. Easily. Which is why, well, he also died numerous <laughs> so times. times. <laughs> Immediately. 10 seconds into going to Earth, he gets he hit, by hit by a train. Sub- yeah. Well, because he spawns like in a subway he station spawns. on the rails. <laughs> yeah. It's not really fair. He doesn't know. It's not fair. And then that, what was his next death? Do you remember? Hit by a bus. Hit, hit by a bus. Uh, but that's his next death for like four in a row? I think so. I don't know. There's there's a good amount. Let me ask you something, Christian. Um, would you think it would be fun to have tits on your head? <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely. You would enjoy that, Alejandro. No, well, I think mm. I would enjoy another person's tits no, that's on their what head. I, no, that's what I mean. You oh, would if, enjoy Christian having tits on his head. I wouldn't be. A no, pl- but I think if I had a girlfriend who had like an extra pair of tits on her head, that could be interesting. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> I think it's kind of weird. No, I do not want tits on my head. I'm just I've, joking, mom. We've all thought about like guys have thought about having boobs. Oh man, right? yeah, I think about a lot. Like, and Julia, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, when you like tie your shoes or look at your belt or just like look down in general. Yeah, how are you not just constantly looking at your boobs? Well, they're covered. By clothes. She just doesn't walk around naked. But, but they, like, take up like half of the shot. Do you constantly look at your dick? I'm sure you do. Don't answer that. I know you do. Gosh, you force other people to look at your dick, dude. Well, first of all, if you're going to talk about my dick, use his name. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Turtleneck. You are a cuck. His name is Jamal and you know it. Don't you've told you know I've told you no, you do know that his name's Jamal. No, I, you what? do know his name's Jamal because now what? all of a sudden you're acting like you've never called him Jamal before, but you've definitely called him Jamal. What the fuck are you saying? You've <laughs> never told me that your dick has had Look a name. Look at how he's acting in front of people. Nor would I. Look at how he's acting in front of people. I'm so upset. But um, have you ever thought about having a dick? Yes. Yeah, and I never would want to. You, really? Because I that? would. I would much rather have boobs. I think women I mean, have it I, way harder than men. Really? Wait, well, yeah. because of, you know, birthing a child and getting your period and all that. And also, like, just asshole men. Can we just... Okay, I want to dive deep into this. Let's go. Um, <laughs> women, you guys do have it <laughs> harder than men. You guys you guys, um, have to, you guys, have periods. Yeah. You guys have to give birth. I mean, you don't have to. But. I mean, you don't have to, but, like, no, when it comes to... <laughs> you, no, 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 no. you have to. <laughs> you guys have to sit down when you pee. That means when you go to any public restroom, you have no, to I get see. those... No, you squat. Squat. I, always, I squat nope, so I always, much. I'll sit Crazy. anywhere. I'll sit on any toilet, bro. That's disgusting, man. I mean, well, whatever. Okay, hold on, because do you... Can you guys, if you... If you really have to go to the bathroom and you're out, you don't have to hold it till you get home, right? Like, can you go in a public bathroom or yeah. does that scare you? No, no I, was, I usually yeah, totally. use those little covers, but it just pisses me off. I don't even have to. Off. I don't even have to. Oh. Here's my secret. Headphones. What? You give me a pair of headphones and I'll poop and pee anywhere. <laughs> anywhere? Only if you had headphones? Yeah, because I don't want to like like associate the act with what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So like, I'll disassociate myself by listening to music or something. Um, in fact... I, I do that when I poop in public, and I, sometimes I'll come out of like I remember one time I was uh, with when I was with Shannon, I came out of the yard house bathroom, and I was taking my headphones <laughs> out, and she was like, "I know what you just did." <laughs> I don't think if you were to lend me headphones that I'd want to put them on. There would just be so many poop particles on Ew. it. What? Where do you think does I'm putting it, headphones? Does it make you more comfortable knowing that like you can't hear that other people in the restroom than they it know has you're going to do with to the other bathroom? people? It's I don't want to hear. Like my, I want to truly like disassociate myself from the act. This is a weird psychological thing that we're breaking down. I want to like disassociate my, don't want myself to from the of, act. Okay. Yeah, because it's all dirty and gross, right? So what I'm trying to do is just like put all the dirty and gross. Do you do that at home? You put headphones on at home? No, but sometimes I'm listening to stuff at home just because like I'm listening to stuff and I'm in the bathroom. Um, but no, it's it. Yeah, it, it's that like shield of a public. Chris is sh- nodding his head. Yes, Chris. He can, agrees. Can I? Can I talk about you? It. Uh, no. Uh, he said yes. He said yes. Uh, no, if he really has to go to the bathroom, like he'll wait. Oh, he wow. you're not a public pooper? No. At you all. You know, public pooping is an interesting thing. Uh, there was a, recently a Rick and Morty episode about being a shy pooper. And I think that really touched to the soul of a lot of men. Because we can pee anywhere. You know what? I was th- I brought this up to um, shout out to Becca. Um, we were having this conversation two days ago <laughs> in Disneyland. I was like, you know what's, <laughs> what? Uh, you you know. You know, what's really weird is the fact that, like, guys go into the bathroom and just, like, whip their dicks out. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, like, a normal thing. And I'm like, what if, I mean, we 
just fucking like whipped our vaginas out. Like it's weird uh-huh. to oh like the you action I mean? of whipping out. No, just the fact that like I know <laughs> I'm I mean, so confused. Like, no, the fact that you were in a bathroom uh-huh. and we have I, to take something out of our pants. No, like you're like yes, yeah. and there's be like other people like right here. So it's the thing that it's, is, it's like it's like instead of like for a woman, you're like removing clothes. It's for men. We're like pulling something out. No, it's not even that. I mean, it's just oh, I misunderstood then. Even like it would just be like I don't know I, I can't really associate it with women but it's like if we were just like pulling our like tits out I like, guess so no tits and dicks aren't the same that's what the feminists no, tell me no we're but she's trying to find you, I'm trying the connection. to like like what? okay like if instead of like being like okay we're gonna sit down on the toilet with all these like doors around us uh-huh. I feel like it would be almost if there was no doors around us and we we're just like hey girl as we're going pee like I uh-huh. see you uh-huh. like we're sitting here well no but here's the thing though is like you say that. But don't women go like four deep into the bathrooms, into the stalls? That's why there's always no. lines. <laughs> do, do women like? Do you I've go- never <laughs> gone into a stall with another girl, but if it's like if it's like a single bathroom where it's like there's the toilet and the mirror yeah, and the yeah, sink, yeah, yeah. then yeah, I've gone into the bathroom with a girl. So but, it's the same thing though. Now, but it's no. I'm talking more so in the sense of a public restroom. Like, you're talking about like going up to a urinal and pulling out our dicks to piss. Exactly. It's just fucking. It is. It's foreign, like when I'm you sure. think about it. It's not. Why is it like? Why is it okay? It's okay in a bathroom, uh huh. Right, but if you were to like go pee in a public place, you could get put on a sex offender list because you're whipping your dick out in public. But a bathroom is still technically public. You see what I mean? A public restroom. Oh, that's such a gray area. Okay, I got the answer. Hang on, I got the answer. (laughs) A bathroom is like a designated area for these things, and you're doing something in the bathroom to take care of some business. Just whipping your dick out willy nilly is why you deserve to be on a sex offender. No, I'm saying. If, you, if you're on a fucking road trip and you have to pee, uh-huh. you're going to pull over to the side of the road and pee. Sure. Yes. Yeah, totally. I have done that. That's, Question that's for I mean. you. But you're not going on sex offender list for that. You could, though. No, if you're within 500 feet of a school or no, a park. No, if someone, if someone like was like to a, saw a fucking cop and was like, this dude just fucking whipped his dick out, even if you were going pee, you could get, or I don't know, you could get fined or it some shit. It is a great, I mean, it depends on if someone's just trying to mark you as a sex offender when you don't deserve it. Like, do you think when guys go into a bathroom that we whip our dick out before getting to the <laughs> urinal? No. We're standing no, in line with no. our dicks out. <laughs> no, hey, at all. Pretty cold in here, huh, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I'm just saying the fact that you're there. Uh huh. I guess, I mean, it is it a It is fact. weird. It's just like when just you think about it. Just because we do have a penis, yeah. Like, no, penises aren't like, weird. Penises are weird, dude. No, I'm They're just saying looking. that it's like, you're like, okay, I'm going pee. And I'm not saying like, everyone's like, oh my God, look at your dick. Oh, look at your dick. No, that, remember, that's, that's, enough, that's for sure not happening. I've definitely gotten gun shy before, though, because like, I have- uh, I get gun shy in one place and one place only. What's that place? Oakland Coliseum. Oh, yeah, I don't because know it's why. A, is it it's a trough? trough. But I pee, Troughs are I, weird. But I can pee in troughs, no problem. It's something about like... Oakland? I don't know what it is. It's just like... <laughs> it's just the fact that like... At the A's game, in the men's room, these are men's men, guys, okay? and Oh, my you're scared is, about their penises if they're bigger than yours? Dude, I don't give a shit about that. Because if you judge a man by their flaccid, not, it. not turned <laughs> oh, on penis, that's not then that's it. not turned on, on, dude. No, 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 no. I'm never looking at another man's penis. Uh, they're just looking at yours? Jesus Christ. No, yeah, no, I'm never looking you at You know what I believed wow. for a hot second in high school? We uh-huh. have gone, hang on, <laughs> now 17 minutes deep about... <laughs> I don't give a shit. This shit's interesting. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. You know what I believed for a hot second in high school was... That women, someone, the women's bathrooms had couches? I. There are some women's couches that have couches oh. cloth couches which is disgusting <laughs> oh dude. you guys my mom just sent me a picture of paco in a raincoat look oh. at it oh. for you listeners out there paco is it her pit. fish so cute pit <laughs> the pit bull. pit bulls look are good ideas. dogs great dogs they are the best They're go rescue dogs. them yes, out of all the shelters them. guys um but what i believe for a hot second someone told me that so for you girls out there i'm sure you're not really familiar with having to like sh- shake your penis after okay peeing, but if you, know? you go if you go and pop a squat in the wilderness and if you don't have you, you have to, have to wipe you guys wipe we shake no no i'm saying if you don't have anything to wipe with you have to shake a little bit what? oh so it's you not do the same. It's you got a wiggle a that's a wiggle that's a wiggle <laughs> that's, well, doing, you're not you're not actually shaking something in your fucking hand it's yeah. the same concept we're doing like a legitimate like it's not no shake. longer part of it but it's like a wah 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 that's the onomatopoeia that you use and no i say it while i do it i go and then i know i'm good to go what I was told that if if you shake 
If you shake, if you more, shake, than your, twice, if you shake with more than three times, you're, you're playing, playing with, it. with it. So I used to be self conscious. <laughs> four times, like, two, how long does it take? I, yeah, I would have to count. And be like one, two, one, two. Really make it worth it. One, and I'd be like, it's not. Two. We have a hand in the back. Let's you, talk okay, Melissa about just said. Melissa this. just said, Christian, don't you use toilet paper to dab the tip of your penis? Because I'm a clean boy, dude. But only if you're in a stall, right? Uh, what? What? <laughs> no, oh, wait. I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. What? I'm not gonna bring toilet paper to the urinal. <laughs> Christian, will walk, Christian will Hold walk it up dick like out this. to the stall, <laughs> get one square of toilet paper, dab just the tip of his penis. Two times. Oh, my God. I oh shake man. twice, and I dab twice. <laughs> so my mother will not be able to listen to this episode. I'd be like, shake, shake, dab, dab. Sorry, Heidi. <laughs> gang, gang. Gang, gang. Uh, have you heard that song? Um, <laughs> chang, chang. Chang, chang, chang. No, 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 no. no. God damn it. I hate when you fuck it up like that. What do you mean? You fuck everything up, dude. You fuck everything up. This is my impersonation of Alejandro today. <laughs> All right, guys, now let me tell you about <laughs> American politics. This is why America is <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, so far sounds good. We'll keep right? Going. Yeah. Really good. I have no complaints with this impression. <laughs> Zero and let complaints. Let me unwrap this Bud Light and open it up. I'm going to drink a g -g 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 third of it and while in the middle of the episode, clank, get up and take a fucking piss during the episode. Nobody had to say anything. You guys could have continued the conversation like nothing happened. No, there would be so many questions. In no that. way. People You're would... never that quiet for that long. No way, bro. I, no, no mm -hmm. way, bro. You guys could have played it off. No. No, I 100% think you guys could have played it off. Oh, Alejandro. Wait, I have a serious question. I drank a lot of coffee. Would you be mad if I got up and went oh, to the bathroom no, right now? No, he has to be equally mad at you if you go, though. No, she's our guest. She, she has no, to be as comfortable. No, you gotta be equally mad at her. You gotta be equally mad at her. <laughs> Just, it doesn't okay. matter if she's the fucking guest. Okay. You gotta be equally okay. mad. Go pee. I'll be right go, back. Do, do it because that's what humans do, and I think you should be fine. <laughs> that's not the problem. The problem is you gotta be equally mad at her. What? You're not as mad at her because she's a woman or because oh. she's a guest? What is she special because she's not here as often as I am? Look, she is just as equal as I am. Everybody's the equal. I was. I didn't want to bring attention to it. My whole thing was you not to bring attention so to it. Attention you brought to attention it. to it. You were the one who brought attention to it. I was going to just disappear, Joe Rogan style, take a piss and come back like nobody's thinking about it. But you had to point it out. And then not just point it out, but talk about it for three minutes. Yeah, you could have just let it go. Seconds. You could have just let it go. No, 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 no. Because I counted how long I didn't get to pee because that's liquid in my bladder. <laughs> that's not excavating my system. And I know how long. <laughs> pissed off for you about this, dude. <laughs> you're more, you're mad about me being mad, quote unquote, about you going pee. <laughs> I'm mad that you spoke about it while I couldn't do it because I got gun shy and thus my bladder burst a little. <laughs> You gotta see a oh doctor. Oh my god, we got so much editing for this episode to do. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh man, I hope this laptop comes up in time. <laughs> All right, so uh, and Ooh. we are back. In we three, are two, back. One. Hi. Welcome, 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 everybody. We got a fantastic <laughs> episode for you here today. <laughs> I'm stressed out. Is Honestly, guys, this is gonna be one of the highest downloaded episodes. I can guarantee it. <laughs> I honestly can. This is going to get hits. Bro. I've lost so many brain cells during this conversation, dude. Well, wait until we go out. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I'm going to beat you with a hammer. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Anyways, welcome back to It Can't Be That Bad. Thank this is you. the podcast created by Christian and Alejandro. I am their guest, Juliet, and we are talking I about little Nikki. Love this. She is the go. most up, up, sane, organized okay. person here. Keep going, Juliet. Keep going. Previously on It Can't Be That Bad. <laughs> I gotta go pee. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so when... Let me, yeah, let me ask, can I ask you a question? 100%. Oh, 100%, bro. 100%, bro. Bro me. <laughs> uh, Patricia Arquette. Yes. <gasps> Hot or not? Okay. So... What are you laughing at, wait, Christian? Wait, 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 wait. This is a serious, like... Yeah. Her character. Very meek. I didn't ask about her character. Hold the fuck on, Alejandro. <laughs> Thank you. You are great on here. So, we need you on. 
her character reminds me of the little girl in Matilda who Miss Trunchable grabs by the uh, pigtails and spins, and this spins is her growing around. Up. She reminds me of that little girl. So you think Matilda exists in the Happy Madison universe? <laughs> yeah, I do. I agree. Anyways, Patricia Arquette, um, I think in this movie she's not in Holes as Kissing Kate Bartlett. I'd say she's is hot. Is that Patricia Barlow. Arquette? Kissing Kate Barlow? Oh, what did it's I say? Barlow. You said Bartlett. <laughs> oh, okay, because I'm thinking about her last name. Hey, Whatever. I'm fine with it. She, yeah, she was way more attractive as uh, Kissing Kate. Kissing Kate. But here, I mean, I guess she's supposed to be posed as a slightly unattractive and kind of awkward. Yeah. Um, they call her, like, Snaggletooth a few times, which is yeah. a uh, what's his thing. Oh, my God. What's that comedian's name? The, the guy who steals his flask? Crazy Eyes? Yeah. Or he does crazy eyes. <laughs> yeah. Um, He's from Friday. He just that's passed away. Mm-hmm. Rest um, in peace. That's uh, who that is. What's his name? Anyone? Melissa? Chris? You know his name? And everybody, you guys both have phones out and you're not fact checking for this episode? Oh my God. From Friday. God. The dad from Friday. Oh, John Witherspoon. John, John Witherspoon. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. And if you're unfamiliar in with peace. that hey, character hang in on, Friday. Let's just take a second for... Let's just take a second. And yeah. we're back. <laughs> okay. um, so... Yeah, John Witherspoon, great comedian. Yeah. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with his character in Friday, he is the one that had to take a shit at the gas station, and it was a very, very disgusting scene. Or if uh, you remember him from Soul Plane, he's the one who fingers <laughs> a baked potato. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Juliet. She knows about that baked potato. I do. What is wrong with you? Sometimes I say stuff and I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> but everyone else knows what you're saying. Um, um, so, part, per, uh, fuck. What's her name? Patricia Arquette. Do you mm-hmm. think she's hot or not? Not. Christian? Not. Like ever? Uh, I don't. I, no, as Kissing Kate, she was. That's what she I mean. Hot. She plays that character well. Yeah, not. definitely. Not. Not. I don't think. In yeah, I don't know. Anyways. I think Patricia Arquette looks like Courtney Cox, which makes it weird that because her Courtney Cox married was mm-hmm, made, David married to David Arquette. Um, oh, mm. who's your favorite character in here? Oh, sorry, we we're gonna say something. Oh, I was gonna say Chris and I talk about it all the time when we think it's kind of weird when couples look like they could be related, like brother and sister. Dude, yeah, we know. Dude, there's know a couple couples, that I know that I a hundred percent thought they were brother and sister for a long time until mm-hmm. I saw them kiss, and then I was like, what? what? And didn't say anything about it for a minute, and then I realized that they're married because oh. they don't have the same last name because she's like a modern woman or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so no, she let's not get on that. Oh topic. no! No, 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 let's no! Let's no. get on that no, subject, Chris. No, no. Chris, did you not want to take Farnsworth as your last name? He would have. You would have. I'm just kidding. He oh, wouldn't have. <laughs> I wouldn't would have. You, I wouldn't would have made him do that. I, I think anyone can choose, and that's why I am Farnsworth Perry. You should have changed your first name when you got married. Be like, if you're changing your last name, I ain't changing my first name. My you name know, is now but, Batman Perry. On. Everyone was always, I feel, I gotta, I gotta give my husband some credit because ever since, even this happened this fucking last weekend, someone was like, you need to take care of her. And it's like, fuck you guys. One, don't be- You can take care of yourself? Well, that, but like, like he's had to deal with that so much. And even people, when we got married, they're like, are you going to be Farnsworth, Chris? Are you going to change your name to Farnsworth? And I'm like, yo. What a crazy question. (laughs) It's just like, I mean, and I get it because of- (sighs) you know what i do that we're not talking about Uh um but i'm just like y'all like that whole like sense of too like of people being like to the girl like well you well to the guy of the girl like you better take care of her or else i'm gonna kick your ass it's like fuck you guys want like why are you even saying that and that's why like i've started to say well like well and i will take care of him too yeah you know like it's It's totally like 50 50 man yeah (laughs) Yeah. but you know what i mean like it's just it's so like okay chris i don't know how i got on this topic I just wanted so, I had to get something off your chest. About? But that's okay. Hey, you know what? That's what this podcast is for. There yeah. I think you you were about to ask me if um if I were to marry Melissa, would I take her last name, right? I was, yeah. Uh objectively, I think we've spoken about it. Uh like you she doesn't like her last name. Her last name is Lopez and uh she you've never really been too fond of it ever oh, since you don't we like started it's dating. Latino, huh? Huh? Is that why you don't like it? Huh? Well, it's just like, huh? it's common. Let me I think tell you something what... about Latino names, huh? I am proud of my Latino first name, all right? Not your last name. Now, my last name's British. English. English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your name goes through a, an ethnic journey. <laughs> By the time you get from the first name to the last name, you've gone through... You've countries. gone through multiple time zones. Yeah, dude. Um, and back to It Can't Be That Bad, Little Nicky, my favorite character is <laughs> to oh, go back yeah. to this question. Oh, yeah. We do a movie podcast. Um, 
I actually have notes on this because I found it quite interesting. My favorite character is Mr. Beefy, who is the bulldog. bulldog. Would you say that that's your best person on set? Uh, no, oh. my best oh. person. Oh, okay, okay, we'll get okay, to it later. Then. Okay. Okay, are you ready for this? I yes. found this out. I copied and pasted. For Mr. Beefy, three bulldogs were used: Rue, Harvey, and Harley. Rue is three years old, lives with Steve Barron, the professional dog trainer for the movie. Harvey is seven, and Harley is two, and is the youngest, the only female. Each offered, I can't fucking read, each offered individual talents that combined to create Biffy. B- Beefy, it's <laughs> Guys, pronounced I'm, hey, I'm fine Beefy. with Biffy. <laughs> the devil's canine colleague. In fact, the bulldog breed was chosen for the role because the part required the dog's mouth to be open. Also, fun fact, Adam adopted a puppy from the same litter immediately yeah. and named him Meatball. Uh, Adam That's Sandler's fantastic. wife is also in this movie. Is she? Oh, she's one of the angels. Yep. That's who she yes. was. I was Ooh, pointing at her this one. entire time. The redhead. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, a fun little cameo, Regis mm-hmm. Philbin. Yes, Regis Philbin. Um, he Talked appeared- about how he beat a man's head in with a bat. Oh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Untouchable style. Um, I think it was funny when Nikki came to Earth and Mr. Beefy was like, your father gave me some money for an apartment on the Upper East Side or whatever, uh-huh. but I I spent I, it on like, or something on my car tax, it or something. and then it's like, it's, it's, strip strip it's like a family guy cut to yeah. of this bulldog Beefy at a strip club. With strippers, <laughs> strippers like, around dancing him, in his face, pouring, pouring alcohol down this poor dog's throat. Yeah. You find out during the credits that he gets kicked out of a strip club for being too drunk. Yeah. Which I believe, and he marries oh, also, his- also, well, you know, he had to meet, oh, that was it. He had to meet a contact uptown, and it skips to him humping a- I don't know what kind of dog, a and he's like, yeah. Yeah. "Call me Mr. Beefy." Call me Mr. Beefy. Say it, say um, it. And he yeah. says, "I'm done." Doesn't yeah. he? I'm and done. I'm done. And I'm, which is a. <laughs> Have you never said that? Weird fucking during at, like at, right after sex. Uh-huh. Just no, oh, that's I'm so done. weird. <laughs> Ooh, I'm done. Who do, and smack win, the who do you think would win in a? <laughs> who do you think would win in a fight, <laughs> Mr. Beefy or Frank from Men in Black? Frank, dude. Mr. Beefy. Mr. Beefy. Mr. Beefy fucking shoots out smoke an bombs arrow. out of his balls and an, an arrow. An arrow true. out of his dick. I forgot about the red rocket arrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just shot Chris in the face. With an arrow out of your dick. Oh. It's disgusting. No, it was a finger gun. <laughs> um, this movie was a insane. Yeah. Best person on set? <laughs> yeah, we do have a best person on set. You guys want to go first? Uh, I think you should go first. All right, I'll go first. It'll uh, Adam Sandler. No, not oh, Adam Sandler, damn, dude. To be Definitely not Adam Sandler. <laughs> okay. um, it's gonna go to a- Adam Sandler's friend that uh, plays one of uh, the satanic fans, um, the one with the long hair that oh. had like such an interesting uh, accent. The headbangers. The headbangers. Yeah, who are two who of went- that- Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, when he gets hit by a bus and the blood sprays on his shirt out oh, 666. Yes. And they were like so amazed at yeah. it. Um, it. So my best person on set award goes to that guy. Mine goes to the dog trainers. To the do- that's dog trainer. That's a good one. What was he the had to do a lot. Oh, dog uh, trainer's name again? Steve. Uh, his name. Because that takes a lot of work to... To train Steve a dog Barron. To well, Steve and it was Barron. three dogs. And but I'm three like, dogs, that's a man. lot of work. You yeah, know? yeah. You find Alejandro? one, Alex? Yeah, my uh, BPS is uh, Rodney Dangerfield. That's Rodney right. Dangerfield has always been one of my favorite comedians. Lucy, he Lucifer. is. This was one of his last appearances in a film. Uh, oh. He uh, and just doing the Dangerfield thing, you know? Yeah. That character of Rodney, because that's not actually his real name, uh, is. Just an incredible story of a comedian. You know, I mean, this is a guy who worked his whole life to try and find something that hit, and then when he was like sixty, he came up with the character of Rodney Dangerfield, and it and lasted it the rest of his life. It stuck. That was his career from there on out. Um, my favorite Rodney Dangerfield joke is uh, one day he was doing a show, and the person in the front row she goes, uh, she raises her hand, she goes, "Hey, Rodney, me and my husband, we just got married. What do you think?" And he goes, huh, "I thought you both could have done better." Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this movie was wacky throughout the entire film. Multiple times I was just saying to myself, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Can we talk about when little Nikki is very happy because he spent an evening with uh, Patricia Arquette's character. Vivian. Uh, Vivian. Valerie. 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 That's what it was. Valeria? 
Valerie. Yeah. Valerie. The, the morning afterwards, he was walking down the streets, uh, Spider-Man 3 style. Uh-huh. And he was super happy saying hi to everyone. He, he passes by the Asian grocer that says to his wife, hold him while I punch him in the balls until he passes out. And they all start following little Nicky because they re- they recognize him from the news mm-hmm. and they corner him into this alleyway. <laughs> and when he's cornered into this alleyway, the craziest thing happens. He looks at them. He says, I'm going to bring out the evil. And he turns into <laughs> thousands of small little Nicky spiders. Yeah. Mm. And that Creepy. freaked me the fuck and out. It's gross. It's uncomfortable to watch. Yeah, that's, that's my least favorite it's scene. It's uncomfortable. We can talk about anything else now. No, um, let's stick on it. No, it I don't want to talk about itchy. spiders. When you see something that freaks you out, it makes me itchy. Yeah. Well, it's the way like they like it broke down Ugh. and then they like came back Reassembled. Up. I like when Mr. Beefy was first trying to get him to release the evil because that was the only way he could like capture his brothers. Yes. And like he when... took the Coke can out of the fridge and he's he like, release the evil and he made it into Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Beefy was saying, turn it into anything. Turn it into moose piss. Turn into... Uh, and he made it into Pepsi. <laughs> he made it into Pepsi. A uh, fun fact about um, Pepsi and Coca-Cola is that Coca-Cola is meant to be drank room temperature because it was invented before refrigeration. Mm, that's and gross. Pepsi is meant to be drunk cold because it was invented after refrigeration. What do you prefer? Uh, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Also, yep, uh, Coca-Cola. here's another fun fact about Pepsi. They were trying to figure out how to make more money in the African-American market in the 80s, so they decided to run a campaign that made Coca-Cola seem racist. Uh, and they made a bunch of money doing that. Oh, was for them. Alfonso Ribeiro, who was Carlton in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he did a commercial with Michael Jackson for, for Pepsi, Pepsi, yeah, which was crazy. Pepsi and, did a lot of commercials with like um, black women and their kids, and Michael Jackson. They really made a, a ploy because Coca Cola like literally only had white people in their ads. Oh, I did not even realize that. Yeah, wow, Coca Cola, yeah. little. Uh... Not necessarily. They just probably didn't even think about it. Yeah. Um, now we know. Now, now we do you know. know. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Um, so my favorite part about Little Nicky is, have is, you not said it yet throughout this entire, no, I, no, it, my favorite part was just like the, the, they're in parts of New York that like, I think, what, what was that little side? Oh, no, no, no. I was, I was just trying, I was just looking around. <laughs> it was nothing toward you. No, I'll find, I'll fucking save it then. It seems to be boring. What about when he's in Central Park snoring? And then he like the people, you know, he's snoring and all the demon voices. He's he snores and then crazy loud. When he it's wakes up, scary. he's like, "I will eat your heart." In like <laughs> a weird people. voice. <laughs> this movie won an award for worst uh, product <laughs> placement in a movie. Really? Yeah, for Popeye's chicken. Oh my god! But it kind of makes you want Popeye's chicken. Definitely. I almost bought Popeye's chicken for Especially this episode. Especially when the demon is like, "What does he say?" He's like, "I fucking love Popeye's chicken." Yeah. <laughs> Something. I got so much energy. Yeah. Oh, after they have that cake, after uh, oh, I'm, I'm, let me back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. When little Nicky goes to the Globe Trotters game, <laughs> and he slam dunks <laughs> that ball using his demonic powers uh-huh. to force it in there. Not only does the backboard shatter, well, he's flying through the air. He's first. flying through the air, Space Jam style. Yep, Space <laughs> Jam style. SJS. Not only does the backboard shatter, but some <laughs> some guy in the audience was so wowed by the demonic power that he grew an afro <laughs> right when the dunk happened. No, it was one of the globe trotters. It was one of the, was one of the players. Tro- <laughs> his, his hair poofed up to an afro. The guy with the cornrows, right? No, I don't think he had cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No. Oh, man. So, uh, anyway. this has been my last episode. <laughs> That's it. Jules, you could be a, a permanent co host of this podcast. Hey, I'm here for it. Hey, you are. I'm here, here to keep it. you down. That's keep right. You in check, Alejandro. Um, Someone has to do it. You're mm. very good. You're very good at fact checking this guy when mm-hmm. he says something wrong, even though he says it in a very convincing voice. I say right things. You say right things, definitely. I'm always right. But she's just like constantly scanning whatever you're saying for fallacies. Mm hmm. And she's I will it. give a shout out to him because huh? he is the one who introduced me to Goodfellas, and I love that movie. Great that fucking movie, movie. Scorsese's nuts. best. Although yes. I haven't seen Irishman, so we'll see what happens. It just dropped, man. So uh, don't you worry. Don't you. But worry. other than that, he's an asshole. Oh, that's Ooh, right. Yeah. Weird dude, I heard. Hmm. Weird dude, I heard. You. Me. Yeah, you're a weird. You dude. heard that I'm a weird dude. <gasps> yeah, through the grapevine. Back to the movie. Yes. When he goes to heaven <laughs> after he dies for the 
the second to last time before yeah. he dies. Yes. Good and way to he, chronologically. Mm-hmm, when he goes to heaven and that's when he meets his mom for the first time. Reese Witherspoon. Mm-hmm. Reese Witherspoon. Um, and her phone is a puppy, puppy bark every uh, time she's... <laughs> <laughs> and it's a pink Nokia, yeah. I think. <laughs> and, anyway. and then she answers it and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Yes. But anyways, when he has to go back to Earth, she's like, here, God gave me this. And it's the ball of light. And she's uh-huh. like, she said to use it whenever. And then, and it's, Ozzy Osbourne. And then it's Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> who bites the head off the bat. You hear Ozzy Osbourne's really song with uh, Post Malone? No, I have not. Is that real? Yeah, it's real. They yeah. did a performance on the American Music Awards. You've it's been obsessed with the AMAs, man. Oh my God, guys, if you haven't seen Taylor Swift's... Oh, it's weird that you brought this up, Christian, because I had dying <laughs> to talk about it. Taylor Swift's performance on the American Music Awards, impeccable. I don't know if you guys are fans of T-Swizzle, but uh, I am now, and for the rest of my life, I may be a T-Swizz fan. Uh, and I'll fight anybody who thinks that that shouldn't be a thing. You're Starting Taylor, with you, Christian. You're a Taylor Swift fan super late in the what's, game. What's, her, so what's your pretty. favorite song of hers? Yeah, uh, Lover. Not familiar what, with it. It's on her newest album. Oh, I fucking hate that song. It plays on the radio all the time. Okay, Talking then. about leaving their Christmas lights on all year or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Who doesn't want Christmas lights up all year? On the porch. Yeah, dude. I'm a fan of old country uh, Taylor Swift, dude. Country Our bumpkin. song. Huh? Our, is that her? What was my, what's her? It's called our song, right? No, you're thinking of the our song. song. It's called... Uh, uh, Sing it to the mic. It's called Famous by Kanye window. West. And it goes, uh, me and Taylor might still have sex. Oh, that song. <laughs> that Kanye song. Does he song. really say that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you not remember? And then he has a music video where he has like a naked mannequin of Taylor Swift. You don't remember that? Damn. I don't. Uh, Did I fever dream that? That's no, a real no, no, no. That's a, that's a thing. Is that yeah. a real thing? thing? Yeah. Oh. Are we done with the movie? Yeah, we're pretty much done. I mean, we've gone a solid hour. And if anyone's still listening, <laughs> well done. Good for them. But, okay, in the end credits, though. Oh, here's the secret part of the episode. <laughs> the end credits when, like, they're walking the fucking stroller, because him and, spoiler alert, him yes. and Valerie have babies. Mm-hmm. And then that old lady comes up to him. And she's like, oh, what a cute baby. And then he breathes out fire. And he has the hair. And the hair. But <laughs> how it pops up, how it says, Valerie was gardening and accidentally <laughs> hit little Nicky in the face, and now his face oh. is back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> And then Mr. Beefy had kids with his old girlfriend who's a sewer rat. Sewer rat. And they're, they're really ugly. Children. And poorly photoshopped, might yeah. I say. So they look like our photoshops. They do. <laughs> they do. Pretty spot on. Um, but <laughs> uh, Jules, any any last words to say to the listeners out there? We'd like to Anything thank you want to say you. to the baddies? Yeah. Here's your chance to give a special message to the baddies of the world. Um. You know, keep sharing the It Can't Be That Bad podcast. Thank you. You know, put it on your Facebook, put it on the gram, put it on your Snapchat, put it on your TikToks if you have one of those. You know, actually, like, make sure people are listening to this because it's the most amazing podcast. You're so Um, sweet. Thank you. This is great. uh, What else? What else? You know, if you have a lot of followers, shout them out so they'll get more followers. Yeah. You wow. know? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, guys, you could follow us uh, on our Instagram. Instagram. You yeah. could follow Jules on uh, the street. What's your Instagram? <laughs> My Instagram is at Juliet underscore Farnsworth. Wow. Outdated. <laughs> and Christian, your Instagram is? <laughs> at Christian has asthma. And mine is at call underscore me Jesus. And you can follow the podcast at ICBTB, ICBTB podcast. podcast. And if you're mm. not following it already, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? But also, you're clearly but also, not a baddie. No, no, no. You can be a baddie still. Just follow us now. Follow Let's us now. Save you at us the end. Follow it. Can't be that bad now. Much like converting and bringing Jesus into your heart, you can be a baddie <laughs> and bring the It Can't Be That Ooh, Bad love all into the your... Turn you this guys podcast really, into a really You guys really should get merch. Oh, yeah. You want to buy we a sweatshirt? Should. What's it look like? We'll turn we, off the we, mic and we'll show you right now. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to sign us oh, off, shit. Jules? That's, you want to sing us off? That is some dope ass merch, guys. Oh, it's dropping so in the new year. Oh, 2020. Uh, 20, hey, real quick, tw- Thanksgiving uh, just passed. You know, when this drops, what, uh-huh. what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for it can't be that bad. Oh, wow. Cut that shit. That's the end of the episode. Yeah.